Hey y'all, I'm Amy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated, okay? I did not record yesterday because Spirit told me not to do those. They told me not to, we're not doing um, elemental readings this week, okay? Um, so, this is about the... What is it? The full moon and the lunar eclipse, okay, in Scorpio. The energy from that shit is crazy, okay? It's just out of this world. <laughs> but first, okay, I had a dream, okay? I had a dream about Drake, yo. I had a dream that Drake came and got me and we was on his tour bus, right? And we went, he took me to a Beyonce concert, you feel me? And so we was in the bus chilling or whatever. Like, I don't know, my son was there, okay? He came and got me and my son, okay? So we, he like, oh yeah, um, Beyonce pulling up. Come on, let's go outside and look at the vehicles or whatever, I don't know, I don't know. I don't remember the exact words, but he like, let's go watch them pull in type shit. So we go outside and we watching them pull in, Beyonce pulling in in a big ass gold bus, right? She pulling up in a big ass gold bus okay with the Beyonce biggest fuck on the side of it right and so um after we watch that you feel me we go we wait a little bit we go over to like this like hair shop or some shit like that and to see if she was in there you know but I'm I don't know I'm thinking like now after I woke up I was thinking like don't she got her own like <laughs> makeup team like why the fuck did we go into the shop but we went into the hair shop okay and she wasn't in there and so the lady was like, um, you got to give us two dollars because you didn't you didn't buy nothing. Right. So he gave her two dollars or whatever. And then we go back to the bus. You feel me? And um, he like, well, what you going to wear, you know, to the concert? And I'm like, I don't know. You feel me? I, I'm like going through my shit, trying to figure out what I'm going to wear, you know, putting on different things. And it was all like it was weird. Like all my clothes was dirty. You feel me? All my clothes was dirty. They all had like deodorant stains and shit, which is totally unusual. You feel me? I like I never have deodorant stains on my shit. Like I don't I don't get deodorant on my shit. OK, like if I do, it's just a little bit. But it was like it was like nasty, like caked on deodorant and stains it was weird and so I was like I can't wear this shit like I can't wear none of this and so um you know him and my son was just like I don't know telling me what looked good and I was like well Drake what you gonna wear you feel me and he like he like oh I already got dressed you feel me he had on just like a regular t-shirt and he had on some some like coochie cutter like uh jean shorts okay and the whole ass like you know how on jeans like how the knees will be like you know like ripped you know what I mean like strung out and you can like see the knee okay that's how the ass of his jeans was okay <laughs> and I was like you gonna wear that <laughs> he was like yeah, yeah, this is what I'm aware. And I was like, oh, okay. So I I don't know. After that, I, I woke up, okay? And I was tripping. I started rolling, like, and I wrote down the dream, you feel me? And then I looked at the time, okay? It was 717. It was 717. So I grabbed my phone, you feel me, and I Googled 717, the Greek meaning, okay? And it meant Harmageddon, okay? It says Harmageddon, a mountain of unknown location, okay? But then it said, what the fuck did that shit say? That shit said something about, um, oh, oh, it said, it said famous for a double slaughter, okay? So, I don't know. That makes me feel like Drake and Beyonce about to get some karma for something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And then, like, when I was in the shower, okay, I was hearing King Von, okay? King Von told me to tell Drake. He said, hi, baby. <laughs> and I was like, this shit crazy, yo. I was like, no. Spirit said, I'm getting new gifts, <laughs> okay? Spirit said I'm getting new gifts, okay, and so the shit's coming out like all of the all of the spiritual warfare that's going on is getting like exposed to me, okay. And then when I turned on when I turned on the music, it was uh what was it? It was Check the Rhyme by a tribe called Quest.
And it was talking about, uh, it say back in the days on the boulevard, Boulevard of Linden, we used to kick routines and presence was fitting. It was I, the abstract, yo, y'all, my street name is Linden, okay? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> I was stripping. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then it was like, now, what the fuck did it say? Tell your mother, tell your father, send a telegram. I'm like the energizer. Cause you see, I last long. My crew is never ever whack because we stand strong. Now, if you say my style is whack, that's where you're dead wrong. I slayed that body in El Segundo, then push it along. You'd be a fool to reply to to reply that Fife is not the man, okay? Cause you know, and I know that you know who I am. <laughs> A special shot of peace goes out to all my pals you see. And a middle finger goes for all you punk MCs. Cause I love it when you whack MCs despise me, okay? They get vexed. I roll next. Can't none contest me. I'm just like <laughs> I'm just a fly MC who's five foot three and very brave on job remaining. No, I'm chaining. Cause I misbehave, I come correct in full effect, have all my hoes in check. And before I get and before I get the butt, the gym must be erect, okay? You see my aura is positive, I don't promote no junk. See, I'm far from a bully and I ain't no punk. Okay? I was like, damn. <laughs> so it's like check the rhyme, y'all. He be like, um, and then I was listening to you on you on point. What it's that's this song, okay? You be like, you on point tip all the time, Fife. You on point tip all the time, Fife, okay? Check the rhyme, y'all. Check it out. <laughs> okay. And then I was listening to um all night long. I just seen seven one seven on the clock. Crazy. Yo, then I was listening to all night long. And she was like, come on up the ladder, honey. What I got is back to thin money. I say, y'all wildin'. <laughs> Y'all is wallin'. Okay, so anyways, okay. Um, God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended, Masters, all beings of light with the best interests of me and the collective at heart. You're welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so we're going to get overall energy from the Pleiadian Oracle deck and from this Astro Cards deck okay and then i'm gonna read out of here the scorpio energy because i love that little book that shows everything then i'm gonna use like the moon deck the crystal deck and um the chosen ones 144 oracle deck okay by maji the high priestess okay and um my tarot cards of course so what's the overall energy spirit for this um scorpio moon okay we got sound codes it's number 41, okay, which I find hilarious, <laughs> okay, but I mean in the best way. Um, it has this, is this a leopard? I don't know, let me see, where to put that? Because it could be a cheetah too. I can't find it. I've seen star royalty. It says when we break down the structure of sound, we discover that within it rest packets of information, okay? Or codices that contain within them the ability to alter physical matter. Similar to the way a natural seed functions on your planet, these built-in codices of sound are seeded with highly sacred data that houses the blueprints of creation itself. That's hilarious because I was just telling y'all them song messages, okay? Um, um, sound is thus a carrier of data and when truly understood and fused with intention it can give the human an innate ability to imprint all of creation through prayer okay 
in our times of communion with the native originals on your planet, our instructions were always clear to sing and pray. This was because to sing and pray is to accomplish the overachieve wait, the over arching mission of your entire species which is to create with creation there is no mistake that all the earth honoring cultures had singing and praying built in for they knew on such a deep fundamental level that the sound was the interwoven fabric of the universe by engaging in song and prayer the human is then given an ability to reshape existence by sending sound sound codices via prayer to all aspects of life may you begin this sacred practice by opening up and singing with your heart to the world sing to the birds sing to the sky sing in thankfulness for the trees and sing from the gratitude of your soul for this gift of life that we are all blessed to receive this powerful act can alter your entire field and open you up to experiences one never thought possible humanity is slowly beginning to open up to the potency of sound by using it in medical practice to diagnose and heal many forms of disease. Although these sound healings were applied by many past cultures, its renewal, its renewal, okay, has shifted back the focus of sound into the forefront of your future. We encourage you to be this sound sharer and let all of existence receive your codices through your prayers in song, okay? So sing and pray, okay? Um, during this during this moon, okay? Like, I don't know. I don't know what, I guess, spirit, they're gonna guide you on what, you know, you need to sing or just sing up a prayer you would normally say okay and that will be that will really help um but these energies i'm trying to tell you they're crazy <laughs> they're crazy a lot of you guys could be um having new gifts okay you could be really really feeling this energy okay we got the moon okay feelings and subconscious okay also there could be a lot of like feelings and um things in your subconscious boiling up that you need to deal with at this time okay stop drop shut them down open up shop okay it did say that it was gonna it said that's how rough riders roll okay so it's like you guys are tough okay you guys can handle um these energies coming in and calibrating into your energy okay so we got Mercury mind and speech, okay? So yeah, they want you to like really <laughs> sing, okay? Sing your prayers, okay? Tomorrow, sing your prayers because that's when the moon is, okay? And the lunar eclipse, I don't know. You can Google it and find out like what time it starts and all of that and if it'll be visible in your area, okay? So the Scorpio energy, um, it's a water sign, okay? And it's a fixed sign. The key phrase for Scorpio is I create, okay? So if you try to create something, okay? The creative energies are boosted. You know, I've been painting. <laughs> I've been painting like crazy for the last couple of days, okay? So um, create something with this energy, okay? It will be really good for you, okay? It says the mysterious energy of water takes on the fixed quality of intensity to suggest a determined quest to unearth the truth, okay? Um, it says the key phrase phrase I create plays out as a motivation to create reality based on hand-picked truths in this situation ask what is the truth behind the facade things are not always what they seem okay the energy of Scorpio is alluring and powerful and can be dangerous when pursued for its own sake rather than a means to a healthy and balanced end avoid using your powers for evil and also in that Drake that Drake dream I was hearing the song that I was that I was quoting from Drake in the um, Archangel Michael video, okay? Which I thought was crazy as fuck too, okay? So maybe pay attention to your dreams, okay? <laughs> I feel like that's always a message, you know? Always make sure you pay attention to your dreams, okay? And write, write things down, write, write it down, okay? So, okay, I guess we're using the tarot card next. Okay, so what else do they need to do? 
during this, um, during these full moon energies, or what do they need to know, okay, we got the fool, okay, so like I said, you know, don't be afraid to create, don't be afraid to utilize this energy, okay, that's what I'm hearing, louder than everything else okay utilize this energy to take leaps of faith and to start new projects okay because they'll be um very lucrative for you okay don't be afraid that you're gonna lose okay you're not gonna lose <laughs> you're not gonna lose if this energy is hitting you right there's a lot of justice coming with this with these energies okay um you guys are gonna see it you're gonna see a lot of shit okay being laid to rest with this with this energies okay this is what spirit is bringing in okay and it's i mean not not just in the world but in your own personal lives you could be experiencing this energy okay success though is what you definitely will always have okay but i did just say not only in the world but you're we're gonna see some justice being served out in this world okay there's a fly in here all of a sudden i don't know where it came from okay so we got the page of pentacles we got the temperance we got the four of cups so we got the page of pentacles okay we got the eight of swords and we got the three of swords so I think you're getting like some good news about money. A lot of people are getting good news about money around this time. Okay. Because like this is what the Scorpio moon is bringing with it. You know what I mean? It's bringing good news of money. It's laying um, old issues and old problems to rest. Okay. Um, and a lot of people are getting karma at this time. Okay. Whether they look like they're getting karma or not. Okay. Anybody that broke your heart or, um, oh, come on now. Anybody that broke your heart, this is the Ace of Swords. Okay. So that's the my fucking truth okay anybody that broke your heart or um wishes to restrict you in any way is about to get this justice okay i don't care what they talking about okay look at this look at this we got the nine of cups okay the magician and the six of cups okay and the judgment okay and the lovers okay Ooh, we so like you know your wishes are being fulfilled you know you are the magician anybody that's done you wrong in the past like i said they're under judgment okay um that includes ex lovers family friends every fucking body <laughs> everybody that got a problem had a problem or want a problem that you walked away from please believe they're gonna get this karma okay because you're standing in your strength okay so spirit saying it's okay to celebrate okay this moon is bringing I seen go wild when I was looking through this. I was like just doing this, you know, cutting it, um, reading it, and um, I seen go wild. Okay, so don't be afraid to have a little fun at this time. Okay, we got the death card. Okay, and the empress. Okay, so you own. <laughs> You guys are really, really on. Y'all on point, especially if you're feeling this energy really heavy, okay? I felt it heavy, heavy yesterday, okay? Like, it came in. It's been, I've been feeling it for, for a few days, though. Like, legit. What else, Spirit? What else do they need to know? I'm hearing, like, what's coming? <laughs> what's coming okay they're saying take a breather okay make sure that you are keeping your heart open at this time okay that you're operating from a place of love from a place of grace okay don't be mad okay <laughs> don't be mad about things you know what i mean like let them go okay truly forgive is what i see too okay they're saying have trust right now okay in god and the universe and spirit um have trust in the things that they're showing you and the things that they have boiling up. Look at the first quarter moon in Scorpio says release your blocks, okay? That's why I said you could have a lot of things boiling up subconsciously from your subconscious, you know what I mean, coming to the forefront. Like yesterday I cried, okay? And as usual, I did not know <laughs> why I was crying or what I was crying about, okay? But I just sat here, right here in this spot, and I just cried because the spirit knows what they're doing, okay? I'm also so it says to be humble okay um you don't don't feel the need to like have to be right or like have to have an argument with somebody like nah you ain't gotta say too much 
you ain't got to say too much at all, okay? Just um, stay in your nice, humble energies um, where you are. And don't be afraid to leave the past behind, okay? All of those people, like I said, they're getting karma, okay? So there's no need for you to, like, um, dwell over that thing, okay? Look, it, we got to speak your world into being, like it said, okay? Sing your prayers, okay? That's going to be very powerful for you. I'm just thinking about doing it <laughs> and how I'm probably going to giggle because it just feels, it's going to feel weird, okay? But they're saying like, you know, if you have like, I don't know, like you could have like spiritual songs that you really like, you know what I mean? Um, I'm hearing like hymns, okay? But I think they just saying, you know, like whatever songs, you know, like if you like songs about God, you know what I mean? Like you know put on some of those songs and sing along okay and that's gonna bring a lot of blessings to you okay that's a powerful thing and it's really true that they have done that shit for centuries okay the Pleiadians are saying they taught they taught us to do that okay they are the reason why um praise and praise and worship exists okay <laughs> so um this is hidden night okay um, this is what it looks like. It says, claim your happy place, okay? Try to stay in a nice, upbeat, um, type of energy, okay? It says, who needs it? Uh, French existentialist future trippers and bad romantics, okay? Um, it says where to put it. Um, it should be aimed at the heart, okay? So maybe do some work with your heart chakra too, okay? We got Aquamarine with keep your cool, okay? So during these energies, you know, you want to just like be cool. Like I was just telling my cousin yesterday or the day before yesterday, like just come over here, just chill, like relax, like leave them kids alone. <laughs> I was like, leave them the fuck alone. They doing kids stuff, okay? They're fine. Nobody's mad because they jumping around or whatever they're doing. Like leave them the fuck alone. They're not even doing nothing. Like come over here, you know what I mean? Pull up a chair, like chill with me while I'm cooking, you know? Cause she was like all on the kids' heads, okay? So leave your kids alone, okay? <laughs> like they're fine, okay? I mean, as long as they're fine, like, just let them do what they're doing okay they're adjusting to these energies just like we're adjusting to these energies okay so be kind of light on them be be light with them right now at this time you know like it said keep your cool you know don't blow your top on every little thing but like I said, the energies of this moon is crazy, you know what I mean? And some some people have things that they're still angry about subconsciously. So it can boil up as like you getting irritated with things or whatever, you know. But Spirit's saying, you know, take your time, you know. If you feel yourself getting upset, getting angry, getting irritated, go ground yourself. And, you know, take a breather, come back, and then deal with whatever the situation may be, okay? I've seen 2242. And pay attention, okay? <laughs> That's what singing that makes me think, okay? Pay attention to what's going on around you, okay? Um, 2242 says overcome your fears, okay? 2242 in love. Um, it says do not feel pressured to be in a relationship. 2242 wants you to take time to discover what you want and what you like okay so spirit could be working with you on that you know if you're not in a relationship if you're single and you're wondering like what when am I going to get this love you know scorp this Scorpio energies are bringing in a love energy to a lot of people you know but some people are going to have to wait, I'm hearing, till the winter time to get your, your boo or whatever because they want you to be comfortable with you, you know. They're waiting for you to get over. I mean, obviously, we don't get over that feeling of wanting companionship. Like, yes, I'm single and I want a boyfriend. I want to have someone to hang out with and all of that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I mean, I need it too, but it's not, it's not like that, you know what I mean? I'm not like how I would have been in the past, you know what I mean? Like just dying and itching to get somebody around me, you know? Like I really didn't used to like to be alone as much as I like it now, okay? So Spirit's waiting for you to get really comfortable with that feeling, you know? Like you should not be bored just because you're by yourself. Like there's plenty of stuff you and yourself could do together, okay? So 
also um maybe spend some time with yourself okay during this moon um if you have crystals um and things like that you know things that can be charged okay um some water or whatever anything that you feel you could charge up with some good wonderful energy okay cleanse it and put it outside in this moon okay <laughs> um under this eclipse okay that's gonna charge up everything really nicely okay i always do that on a full moon okay and i'm hearing spiritual baths make sure you take your spiritual bath okay <laughs> take your spiritual bath um you could even do your singing prayer in there you know even spirit saying it's as simple as even being like um you know what I mean? You could do some chanting if you want. Um, I probably will do that. <laughs> you know, I can't really see myself like singing my prayer. <laughs> but, you know, to each his own. It's up to you what you want to do. OK, how you want to do it. Overnight celebrity came on. OK, spirits say they can make you a celebrity overnight. OK, look, 2242 is a message from your angels encouraging you to balance your work life and your relaxation and rest time. OK, which I think we kind of covered when I said spend some time to yourself. OK, so seeing angel number 2242 is a true sign of blessings from divine power. It brings immense positive energy and helps you overcome the negativity. OK, thank you, spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. He said, drive whips. I know you like. So somebody could be getting a new car, okay? Um, we got Aragonite. I have a piece of that. I love that piece. This little piece of Aragonite, okay? It is the bomb. <laughs> um, so it says, find your center. Um, it says, who needs it? Anyone feeling out of alignment in need of a major rest, okay? Also, this... Um, energy of this Scorpio moon you know eclipse energy it's drained me yesterday like I felt so tired like I slept like I just took a nap <laughs> for real I, I took a nap for like three hours I went for a walk and then when when me and my dog came back I just lay down and I slept for like three hours it didn't matter what was going on I was knocked out okay so you could be feeling really drained okay um, and you can even be feeling a little bit out of alignment, but you're good. Okay, your body and your energy is get, just getting acclimated to this energy that's being introduced. Or it's already started getting introduced, you know. It starts before it starts, okay. <laughs> um, but Spirit's just saying, you know, find your, your center, okay. It says where to put it on the meditation cushion, meditation cushion adjacent, okay. So meditate. You, you could meditate with some aragonite or some aquamarine or some hidden and it, it'll help okay what is this this is opal okay it says feel all your feels like I said I was crying yesterday and I was like but I just was like okay you know what I mean let's get it out you know <laughs> and so and also I was gonna I got set up and everything to do the readings but spirit was like no don't do it you know so I just read myself I just did like an extensive read on myself you know so if you have some cards it could be a good time to read yourself okay but don't hold back your feelings you know um work through them so that spirit can introduce new energies into your into your you know auric field is what I'm hearing okay it says who needs it the all black wardrobe set can benefit from black precious opals bold pop of color and spiritual protection not so prolific artists can ride fire opals burn okay it says where to put it the general rule white and blue vibe with the head um pink vibes with the heart and black vibes with the lower abdomen okay so it says when you have something that needs to get moving a project, a relationship or an energetic block. And I did say, you know, don't be afraid to start these new projects. You know, you could be holding back on that thing. But spirit saying it could be um, just because of old the confirmation okay it could be because of old feelings old energies old heartbreaks old restrictions so they're saying allow those things to boil up and forgive the things okay so that it can you can get justice from those things okay so that you can see the result that you want okay let me get one more sunstone okay Call back your energy, okay? Also, make sure you call back your energy. We got diamond at the bottom of the deck, okay? You are a diamond, babes. It says, take back your shine, okay? It says, 
who needs it? This is what it looks like. I don't know if I showed you. It says, who needs it? Fellas looking to operate on a higher plane. The vitamin D deprived all solar powered human beings who do not in fact harvest life force energy by... Yeah, all solar powered human beings who do not in fact harvest life force energy by turning up the brightness on their smartphones. Okay. So, um, where to put it? Anywhere you're looking for a boost in stamina, first thought, the gym? Sure, bro. <laughs> okay, so when to use it? Uh, whenever it's time to get busy or when your disposition needs a little sunnying up, okay? So, like I said, some of us, well, some of y'all, some people could be in... Um, some of the collective, I should say, could be in a funky type of mood, okay? That dark night of the soul type of energy, okay? <laughs> this is what Scorpio brings, you know, a purging is what I'm hearing. Shaman, okay? So, some of you guys are shaman, you know, or even look into, um, like, the ways of the shamans, you know? Um, um, even working with certain herbs right now will bring in a better type of energy, okay? There's some sort of goddess energy being unlocked in a lot of the, in the collective, okay? What else? We got, um... You will regret messing with a chosen one, okay? So anybody out here that thought they was finna fuck with us, ha, no, they won't, okay? Um, highly ranked in the spiritual world, okay? So a lot of us have high rankings, okay? And we're not even, uh, you know, we're not even aware of, of how serious that is, you know? You hear that a lot, but you don't even really... Like, there's no way for us to really grasp that, okay? Until when you get in the spiritual realm, you'll see, okay? But look, it says remain calm at this time, okay? Which I already said. Thank you, spirit. What else? Um, it says your name holds power, okay? So also look up your name meanings, okay? I don't know um, if you have done that or, or not. But you can just type your name and type name meaning, okay? And, um, spirit will tell you a lot about yourself through that, okay? Because I had done that. I had done that a lot of times before, you know, but one time I did it, like, spirit took me to this website, you know, that really broke me down, okay? Like, like, on paper, you know what I'm saying? So to speak, it really, like, busted down me, who I am, a lot of my characteristics, and I was like, okay. Um, a lot of you guys are light workers, okay? Okay, with these big missions here on earth okay just know you are being protected during this time a lot of you could be um experiencing deja vus okay but and you're about to experience um some really big success okay a lot of you guys are um black sheeps of your families okay that were born to be legends okay look spend time alone like it said okay you guys are star seeds okay some of you guys third eyes are awakening okay some of you guys are lumerian star seeds and all of y'all are God's ambassadors, okay? <laughs> so, um, just know that. Are we done? They said no, we not done. Just one of these, okay. But we're almost done. So we got boundaries, okay? Make sure you keep your, um, use your shield, okay? Use your bubble of light around you, okay? Um, especially when you feel um, like a funky type of energies, okay? You can even be smelling funky types of smells, okay? I was smelling tequila this morning, okay? Somebody could, that could be somebody's like liquor of choice. <laughs> um, I definitely choose tequila when I am drinking, okay? But I usually don't drink, I quit. <clears throat> Last time I drank, I was drinking whiskey, okay? You might drink whiskey. <laughs> um, whatever I'm drinking, I drink that shit straight like a grown man, okay? <laughs> look, Oak, don't just look within. Dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing, okay? Is what it says. Huh? Like an allergy pill, but I just feel like my nose wants to run non stop. Okay, so it says wisdom isn't a static thing, it evolves, 
changes and adapts as you learn new ways of knowing before you can be wise you must be willing to accept that you don't have all the answers oak is here to change your perspective like an old wise grandfather okay um some of you guys could have your grandfather your actual literal grandfather guiding you okay and <laughs> giving you a lot of wisdom okay um oak guides you to evaluate your beliefs to see if anything is out of alignment with who you are today perhaps what you knew to be true is now directly opposite from what you currently believe or perhaps who you thought you were supposed to be when you were younger is now completely different from who you actually are just like wisdom your goals will evolve as time goes on some goals will be left behind while others will morph into something else entirely it's important to regularly check back in with where you are to make sure you are still situated on the most illuminated path if you are are confused about your next steps oak reminds you to reach out to the unseen support all around you commune with nature the spirits and the universe and ask them to guide you okay so spirits just saying you know if there's anything you don't understand you know what i mean anything you're feeling confused about you don't know if it's your energy or if it's someone else's energy ask spirit you know what i mean and be specific you know ask them to send you a number or ask them to send you a color you know or ask them to send you a scripture a piece of scripture you know like um something just anything and they will um comply is what i'm hearing okay it says um other beltane herbs flowers and trees we got belladonna belladonna for moving on because i did say something about herbs okay well thank you spirit we got belladonna for moving on from past loves and adding protection to the home please note however that Bell belladonna is very poisonous okay we got birch provides strong protection magic okay hawthorn is used to decorate maypoles it's, isn't it it's may yo <laughs> that's hilarious it's used to decorate maypoles and for fairy magic luck and success happiness and fertility okay ivy for love luck friendship healing and protection it promotes fidelity in marriage when given to newlyweds okay lemons for spiritual opening and purification they hold the energy of both the sun and the moon and are used in love magic and to induce lust use lemons for prophetic dreams and clairvoyance okay it says marigold attracts admiration and facilitates the finding of new love use marigold for favorable outcomes in legal matters as well as helping wishes come true it holds the energy of the sun uh, metal sweet increases luck and promotes friendship harmony love and peace and mint for prosperity and healing it renews vitality and attracts good spirits okay this is the seasons of the witch beltane oracle deck okay and with that i'm done i hope you guys have a happy fabulous wonderful and amazing day and i will see you later